Okay. Uh, I'm Lou Popovich. Uh, I was assigned to the uh, R Division aboard ship, and part of the R Division is a group called the Damage Control. And one of our jobs, one of the many jobs we had, was to uh, go through the ship and take uh, readings of each one of the uh, water ballast tanks. And these little plates in the deck that you see are all identified. We have a little log book, and each one is identified on a big master diagram that shows you where it is on the ship. And we would drop a, uh, a lead line into these tanks and measure the amount of uh, uh, water in there. And then eventually we would feed this information back to the damage control office and uh, they would uh, be able to calculate how much, how level the ship was. They could then transfer uh, from one tank to the other if they had to level it. But this particular location is the, uh, is the brig. And we would periodically come in here and check all of these covers. And a good portion of the time there were prisoners within this, uh, within the brig. And as I recall from one time that I was checking out the, uh, the depth in one of the tanks and the prisoner said, well, just don't screw that cap down too tight because I, want, I dropped my cigarette butts in there as an, as an ashtray. <laughs> this is one of the uh, sounding areas that we uh, would check. And with this tool, we took the cap, we take the cap off. And then you would, uh, you can see at the end of this line, there's this uh, lead weight with various sections in it. It looks like they're about six inches apart. And then what we do is uh, drop this line in and uh, have it hit bottom and then draw it back up again and check to see how deep the, uh, deep the water is in this particular uh, compartment. And we just go through and by the numbers into each one of these spaces and uh, check out these the depth of uh, water in each one of these compartments and uh, that's part of the job spend all day doing this walking around keeping track of it all uh, well like here's here's another one now the thing you have to be careful of you have to uh, get the numbers and some of these are uh, oil and I know one time we got the wrong one open and we dropped the line and came back, you know, full of oil. It was kind of a mess. Uh, one of the other things that we did in damage control is to uh, pressure, pressure check each one of the compartments. And that procedure involved uh, dogging down a specific area. And then at these fittings here, uh, there would be men on the other side with pressure hoses and they would pressurize this particular compartment and uh, I'm not sure what the pressure was that they used but, but it made your ears pop and uh, uh, they would just check pressure gauges outside to see if uh, it was losing pressure and hold it for a certain period of time and if it uh, dropped in pressure then they would bang on the bulkhead and that was a signal that we'd have to go around and start feeling different uh, areas to see where we could find perhaps gases that were loose or uh, deteriorated and uh, then we would replace them at the next uh, earliest time but we did this throughout the uh, ship and again this is because during uh, uh, battle stations each one of these hatches were shut and in case the ship was uh, damaged and uh, took on water uh, each one of these compartments would in itself be uh, uh, safe to stay in. But one of the uh, areas that we had to check was the 5-inch uh, five, five ammunition compartment. So I was lucky enough to get stuck in that thing and uh, they pressure, pressurized it. And uh, you know, here's an 18-year-old kid not knowing much about ammunition and so forth and I could start hearing a ticking sound really a loud ticking sound and then they could tell me on the outside through banging on a bulkhead that there's a leak somewhere so uh, and I was pretty apprehensive to start looking around I'm trying to step on these five inch shells feeling here and feeling there and finally I found an area that the gasket had, had worn and uh, uh, it was actually 
a little piece of it was flapping or something making this noise, but it was kind of scary for, uh, for a novice.